Yeah. All right, you guys. That's not how I started off last time. You can't because the baby seat. All right, you guys. I said, gang, gang. We back again. Okay, but we. Because the baby. What the baby still got doing? <laughs> ready? Yeah. All right. You smacking, bro. We were just interrupted, but we are back. And so today, this is part one of five things that your parents say to you around Christmas time. So we've all had experiences. Now, right now, we're Some older. Some more than others. Oh, my goodness. He, Y'all, he loved it. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to let him tell his story because whatever his stories let are, they're probably tell me. exaggerated to the 10th no, hour. No. Okay. I, this, is, this is hard facts. Okay. Anything I speak on, I can prove. Okay. But anyway, so we all have had our parents say something. We might not have got what we wanted. They might have found some reason why we get what we want. So we're going to run down on the five things. On five things, part one. No, we're going to do 10. But this is part one, so we're going to do five. Okay. Here's the people the whole Jesus story. Please. All right. 10 things. This is part one. Okay. Okay. And we're going to give a little bit of background. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. So, Patrick wants to start us off because this was his idea. Yes, it was. He, he finally, after 18 days of vlogmas, he came up with... <laughs> well, I mean, we can stop it now and just take my idea and put it back in the vault. I have other ideas, too. You just don't use them. I would. Right, if I say it, then they're going to know. All facts. All right, let's go. Can I please? You're going first. Number... Oh my god, now he old got me the paper to remember. Nick one number one. Oh, number one. Number one. If your room ain't clean, <laughs> Santa Claus ain't coming. <laughs> what kind of. This woman used to tell me mm -hmm. if my room ain't clean, Santa, <laughs> Santa don't care about my room. He's supposed to be coming through a chair. That's not true. But you know what? That's not true. I would stay up all night cleaning their room. That's not true. Santa all does night care. scrubbing. Santa cares about your room. Organizing. Placing things neatly. He obviously has not heard of the song. You making a list, checking in. You're gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Naughty people don't make their room. Nice if your room ain't clean, Santa Claus ain't coming. I think that's a legit. Y'all give me a comment if y'all heard that one before. I think that's legit. I would like to know how many people if y'all heard that one. Before. Also, comment down below after you've watched the video some things that your parents used to say to you during Christmas time. Okay, back to me. Number two. I'm talking about him. I don't remember what my second. Okay, number two is I didn't buy you the Jordans because I can buy you three pair for the price of one. I don't know about nobody else, but my parents would not buy name brand. Y'all know what name brand is, the, the, the stuff that's more expensive because you can get more. So yes, we walked around with light up shoes. I don't know why. I felt like, <laughs> we, could afford, <laughs> I felt like we could afford more than that. Now don't get me wrong. It ain't nothing wrong with a few light ups, a little bing bang boom. You know what I'm saying? Well, especially when you're a child. Like right now our kids, they would probably enjoy light ups over their Jordans or something like that because when we get them shoes, they like the unicorn, the dinosaur stuff. So I understand it. But at what age do we stop doing the light ups? At what age can we get our kids a pair, you know what I'm saying? Some brand name. Uh, at the age where their friends influence them and they realize <laughs> that they're going to get picked on if they don't have them Nikes on. So you got picked on because I ain't get picked on. Picked on? I didn't Girl, get picked on. Girl, I went to school with some airs. I went on Jordan <laughs> on the end. It was just airs. Woo. I had to wear bell bottoms to cover up the back of my boots because it had Tim's on top. But here's the I'd thing. Been you, yeah, you, we need to empower our kids. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I was a child, I wanted the Jordans. But now, we need to empower our kids to know that whether you have Airs or Air Jordan, because I've never heard of it before. Just know that you are good Same. regardless. This ain't what this video was about. <laughs> Come on with it. With number three. <laughs> All right, number three. Number three. Number three. I'm going way too deep. It ain't that deep, y'all. But tell me why. Like, just get me the pair of Jordans. The whole thing was, oh, you can get more. You wear it. Nah, I want the Jordans. I don't want more of it. I want the coolest things out there. Buy me that one. <laughs> I don't need the three. I'm going to clean this one up. I, I ain't 
ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say I can't be. Nah, I'm clean these ones. All right, so next, next on the list. Drop them laces in that Clorox. Have them nice and white. <laughs> Right here. Where we I at? think that right here. Uh, no, no, that's not your next one. Well, man. Uh, right there. That's your next one. Okay. This one kind of cold. Though. All right. So this one, this one here, I got hit with this one a few times. <laughs> Do you remember so, when you got hit with it? Nah, I don't okay. remember when, but I'm pretty sure me and my sister was probably just talking about our friends and what they got for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I, me and my mama overheard it, or maybe we were talking to my mama about it, and you know, I don't know. But I know she hit me with this. And since you worried about what everybody else got, won't you go stay with them? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff? So you were addicted say? on the premise addicted. of somebody else's <laughs> Christmas. I, I was talking about somebody else getting some gifts. <laughs> Get up out of here. I'm to say this all year, and I'm going to say it. Huh? And this is a good time. Get the stepping. Stepping. <laughs> I can't live Very here. Very ungrateful. If I don't like what you got, you I don't get me that. I agree. Like, worry about your own household. And if you ain't got nothing, don't go out telling people and all that. I'm a stuff. kid. I don't know about the household. <laughs> I just know my boy down the street got the new, the new uh, Hot Wheels track. And, and I ain't even got a car. Mm. I ain't even get a little woom woom car. Y'all, does he sound ungrateful? Cause see that comparison stuff, it started at a young age. That's all I'm hey, saying. Stop hey, comparing. Listen, listen to me. Live your life. I called my sister. This my sister told journey. me. She said, you can't be ungrateful for what you ain't got. Mm. Mm. We ain't had nothing. <laughs> so I'm just I'm spitballing some ideas out there. Mama. Is that a boy, quote? You can't be boy, ungrateful uh, for what you don't and have. And this woman tells me, I, you That's need to go true. stay with them then. <laughs> So she Yo, going, she is basically she trying to eliminate the bill. She's trying to eliminate the bill. That's, that's the that facts. Was. Yo, that's really like smart though. Because it's like. That's crazy. Yo, like you being ungrateful go over there. But then they end up taking care of what you got going on. She got to deal with it. Okay? That's crazy to tell your son that. I won't know I'm two years old. I think that's fair. That's all. I'm two years old. I think that's I look baby. Okay. Look baby. That's the drama. That's being dramatic. All right. So number four. Let me number call my therapist. four. So as you guys know. As you guys know, as you guys know, I am a PK. And you already will. Y'all might not know. I don't think y'all know that. No, I've talked about the church on here, actually, during Vlogmas. But anyway, you guys, this is the number one Christian religious excuse reasoning trying to make you feel a way about wanting gifts. If I go and get something, like I ask for something for Christmas and I don't get that particular thing, I hear, well, that's not the true meaning of Christmas. It's about Jesus' birth, that he was born in the manger. It's more about the good news. Hey, don't get me wrong, it's good news, but at like seven, eight, nine, the real good news is the gifts. I don't know about. Yeah. Just give me the seven, good, eight, like, nine. I love Jesus. Ten, eleven, twelve. Like, but you're not 13, gonna use 14, Jesus. You're not 15. gonna use Jesus because you ain't wanna give me no gift. I'm talking about give me my gift. But why don't you? Ain't, why y'all ain't giving? <laughs> y'all giving me a whole lot of words and ain't many, no presents. It's too many catchphrases in school. I say in school, in church, about giving. Giving it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. It's better to give than it is to receive. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, on that beautiful day that everybody supposed to get something, nah, you get a little something. Everybody mm -hmm. don't get. Everybody don't get nothing. But you supposed to get something. You're gonna tell me then it's about Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't think Jesus like that. And I'm I'm a really I I probably done pray some prayers to Jesus just to make sure to see like yo, Jesus, is this true or is they like are they playing with me? I don't like that. Feel like that's wrong. Am I am I too broke for that? Or? I don't know. I ain't never heard that one. I ain't oh no PK kid. Yo, what I heard was get out my face. You ain't got. That's good number five, man. Okay. I, I, number five. Good number five. Number Before five. I go off this on the tangent. <laughs> yeah, because Patrick starts to get into like traumatic stage, and he starts to go back to his childhood, and it goes off into right and left field. And we notebook, please. Really don't have no, time Notebook, please. Okay. Thank, thank All you. right, here we go. All right. 
So should you tell your story behind this first? Look at y'all. I got to tell y'all. Let me tell y'all the story for this. Let me tell y'all. Because you got to build up All on right. this one. You can't just. You so, need to let the people know the background. You know, hey, y'all. I love my mama. Love mm-hmm. her to death. Yes. Um, she went above and beyond raising four of us. Mm-hmm. She's passed on now. I miss her every day. Yes. But as an adult, I do realize that she had some flaws and mistakes. Mm. Because we had a dollar store in our neighborhood. <laughs> There's no reason you shouldn't wake up with something for Christmas. Maybe. So let me tell y'all this. So me and my sister, uh, my sister is younger than me a couple years. So mm-hmm. we're close right there together. Right. And mm-hmm. one night, you know, we go to sleep. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. We teenagers. So we ain't expecting a whole spread. You know, you know, as you get older, you realize that stuff costs more to yeah, satisfy you because you're older. These days expect more. So, so know you know, gonna... pair of shoes, outfit, maybe some money, uh, video games, something like that, you know, that like older kids would like to enjoy, whatever. Mm-hmm. God, dog, fix me breakfast. Give me something. <laughs> Sasha and the eggs. Listen, we go to sleep. Okay. We wake up the next morning. All right. We walk in the living room. Mm-hmm. Is there a tree? Is there a tree? We always had a tree. We had okay. a white tree. Always right. had a tree. Okay. Right. Uh, we had a white tree, red ribbon, red bows. Okay. My mama loved white I'm trees. I'm just building out the atmosphere. Had I'm letting them see the you gotta, scene. Okay, at this point, I'm old enough, but I'm actually hanging up lights outside. I'm climbing okay. ladders, putting stuff up. So, so you're you, creating you know, the, the Christmas I am creating the vibes. Christmas aura okay. around that house. Okay. And? We wake up. This lady is in the kitchen. She's going to tell us. I don't know why y'all are so <laughs> It was nothing in that house. Not one single thing in the house for me and my sister. Just go to bed. Where you? Like, this why you woman fixed her doing? mouth and says on Christmas morning, mm-hmm. not good morning, <laughs> not Merry Christmas, <laughs> not do you want some eggs and biscuits or something. This woman said, I don't know why y'all up so early. Mm-hmm. I looked at her. She looked at me. <laughs> we need no words. You know what we did? You went back to bed. Went back to bed. <laughs> it wanted me for to be up there early. Good morning so, okay. for us. Y'all following directions. This like, one now, but uh, you know what this was? A teacher work day. <laughs> I did. We didn't have to go to school. That's all that was. A teacher work day. That's all it was. We just out of school for a little bit. But see, it was the comparing earlier on in your life that brought you to that point. That's really what it is. Like, she told you don't be comparing, doing all that stuff. So, you got older, she taught you a lesson. She taught me a lesson. <laughs> To keep my expectations low, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and when you expect high, your feelings get hurt a lot. Yeah, you did. You, but the when you expect falls a little bit low, off, a little deeper. low, I'm talking about, I'm talking about freshly trimmed grass, low. Okay. So low you can see a snake <laughs> slithering through it. So low that if anything pop up, you feel real good about yourself. Y'all see the dramatic. And here. that's what we did. Yeah, see. We went dramatic. back to bed. We woke up around <laughs> twelve o'clock. Not went back to bed. Fixed the bologna sandwich. Went back in my room again. Shoot. And that's why I remained the rest of the day. I didn't want to see nobody <laughs> because you know what people gonna ask you. What you get for what you get for Christmas? But you, I mean, you know how hard it hurt your feelings. Yeah. How your little Strength. throat just tremble. When you said, <laughs> "What you get?" I said, what you say? And then you write back comparing again. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a very that? tough circle there. Like, it's a cycle of comparison. You got a whole lot of opinion for somebody who ain't never went through that. You don't know that. I just told you. you my know what parents you, did make you know me you, wear them bobos. I had to wear light. They were Reebok and LA Gears. <laughs> this woman is comparing nothing to Reebok and LA Gears. I'm not comparing. I'm not she's comparing, comparing She's comparing you guys. getting three. Let me tell you instead this. Instead of one. Let me tell you this. To getting zero instead I, of zero. Let me tell you this. I don't compare my struggles to Patrick because he always going to beat me in the struggle area. We've talked about this right or wrong. Struggle. You got struggle. that. You have that. You ain't got no struggle. You know what? The video getting too long. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry if this thing got sideways. It's him. It's his stories that make it. But if any of y'all, any of the, anybody out there went through what we went through. Yeah. Hit me a like. I really Hit me a like. It. Hit me a like, drop a comment down, let me know your story. Let us know. Because I know, we do, I do want to I know stories, for y'all. a fact, y'all I probably know. got hit with that. For Come sure. on, man. Please tell us a story. We would love to get some stories of y'all traumatic childhood Christmas experiences. Okay? 
Because we don't want to be the only ones that like. Why going you up, Shuri, <laughs> what she told me? Why you I up, mean, Shuri? what are you out of the bed for? Like, I bought you the bed. What are First we, up, I can't be up early in here. <laughs> I, I can't wake up early. I can't just say, hey, I want to get early today. No. Mm -mm. We need you to be in the bed. I can't. Right, Good so. God, I'm But how me. you didn't know, like, you had got up too early and she was still trying to get the presents together? Because I woke up at 12 and still on there. That's how I know. This ain't no play play. No, but after you had got, like, how you was acting, she really didn't like that. So she just said, no, Wait, wait, back to sleep. No, but it's like you just the energy she probably got. We from. did what she wanted us to do <laughs> go back to sleep. That's exactly what we did. Oh, my last question. When you went back to sleep, honestly, when you walked back into that room and you was about to lay your head down, did you think? That when you woke up the second time that you had to, honestly. No. <laughs> My mama didn't play them games, okay? Is it, it, it was there or it won't? Uh, okay, okay. And so the answer is no. Okay. When we went back to sleep, we knew when we woke up it was going to be the same thing. <laughs> so that's why we slept a little bit longer. That's why we didn't go outside that day. We was ghosts the whole day. Yeah. Like, we ain't play with nobody down the street. We ain't call nobody. Our That's niece tough. and nephews, we usually would hit them up and be like, yo, what y'all get? You don't want to really hear about what Ain't nobody got trying to hear no either. one side of the story. Yeah. That's all that would have been. Well, you don't want to. Do you really want to hear about somebody else's stuff? That's what I'm saying. That's a one side of the story. Oh, yeah. It would have been them, and it would have been it. And then it would have been crickets. Hey, I ain't getting nothing. Huh? I mean, my mama said she gonna get. You know what? <laughs> don't worry about it. We gonna get see y'all. This is just a beginning. Like Patrick has so many stories. Like I've been telling him to do story times. He really need to write a book with all the stories he has. But he need to do some story times. When I tell y'all, he has some of the craziest stories in the world. Like y'all, y'all will be rolling on the floor. So we are gonna see if we can throw some a story time in there before Vlogmas is over. Maybe possibly he will do it for y'all. I don't know. It depends on how he feeling y'all. Like y'all, y'all, y'all. If if y'all let me know what y'all want to hear, I'll throw one out. If y'all trying to hear a childhood story, if y'all trying to hear an adult story, if y'all trying to hear some stuff about my mama just doing us wrong. You know, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, could, I, could, oh, okay. I can bring in some siblings and vouch for some of this stuff. Okay, okay. This stuff crazy. Oh, no. Okay, you Skylar know, wants to say, hey, Larry. If y'all want to hear, hey, Skylar, have you ever played a game called Stomp the Roach? Oh, okay. <laughs> See, oh, this video is see, starting to go. See, see, it's go. I told y'all, like, he got so many, so many Lights stories. Lights on, roach out. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, listen, guys, I this been crazy. She talking about take a war. I played to the war. Who, who would you, what would you take in a war with? Them black snakes <laughs> outside. <laughs> All right, Skylar, tell them what they need to do before we get up out of here. What do they need to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Bell. Like and share. Share it out. Alright y'all. Peace out. Yeah.